Hello, and welcome to Maui Live, Maui's TV and radio show spotlighting Maui's incredible talent. Maui Live is taped live for television and radio each and every week at the Stepping Stone Playhouse in the Queen Ka'ahumanu Center. Maui Live features lots of great music and interviews with celebrities and local businesses. And Maui Live is the home of the Maui Live show band, Old. Maui's old-time rock and roll band. Maui Live is a production of Larry John Wright Hawaii and Silver Pixel Studios. And now, here's the host of Maui Live, TV and radio personality, Eric John Molina. It's time once again for Maui Live. Hi, I'm Eric John Molina and welcome to Maui Live, Maui's TV and radio show featuring some of Maui's incredible talent. And today, we have Terry Garrison. So let's get on with the show. Live is underwritten by some of Maui's best businesses, like Casanova, with two incredible restaurants in Makawao and Kahului. Visit them online at CasanovaMaui.com. Hello, welcome to Maui Live. I'm Michael McCartney. Our guest on the broadcast, singer-songwriter Terry Garrison. Terry, you've been on Maui for how long now? Um, I depends on who I owe money to, but. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Actually, let's see, is we've it got you? the. It was you, yeah. huh? A oh, while, wow. but I'm, I've been off and on here uh, since 89. The first verse in my new CD says, got here uh, in 89 when I didn't have a dime. So, but I've come back and forth. 
So I'm back again. So you showed up broke. Sh yeah. Came here all green in 89 with dreams in my heart and not one thin time. And it hasn't changed much, but I'm back. Now, I can't remember the exact story. Um, so you're going to have to clarify this. Mm -hmm. Didn't Lowell George help you get started? Well, I, I think Lowell George, he was like my first mentor was Willie Dixon. He really helped. Willie Dixon, the great blues man, helped a lot. Lowell George was like the first musician to give me some wisdom. Like he's the first guy. Wisdom or light of fire? I both, yeah. And, and he was the first guy that I played a song to. I, I didn't know what, you know, demos were. He said, if you got a demo? And I said, sure. And I went home and made one. Because <laughs> I, I asked another musician. Yeah, I was 19. So he was just very helpful and, and, uh, and tough but wonderful. Yeah. So he was, yeah. Who were some of your early musical influences? When I listened to you, you know, on your albums and especially in your live performances, I always get kind of a feel of like Billie Holiday, Bessie Smith. Yeah. But I mean, who really was your first few influences at a young age? Um, pain. <laughs> <laughs> I know but, her. I know. But um, no, because actually, I, yeah, Bessie Smith a lot because I was in this car accident, went to heaven, came back singing. It's a long story. But I, then I started singing the blues, never had, started writing these songs and just had to find a way to record them. And it was just, it was like an internal catharsis kind of thing. A few months later, met Willie Dixon. Uh, and he had, we shook hands and we were like, we knew each other, kindred spirit kind of thing. Then he brought me to his house, met all of his family. And, and he was like, now you, you know, sing my songs like the Zeppelin boys. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you're going to be, you're going to do good. And so, and then I found out that he was Bessie Smith's bass player, which I didn't know. Oh, wow. You know, I found out much later. And then I got to record with him and open for him. But um, so he, and that whole genre was my first influence, but I came at it from real stupidity. I didn't know. I just, it was just in my heart. And I slowly got to know who Bessie Smith was and Robert Johnson and, and then, you know, and yet then there's a lot of eclectic Bonnie influences Ray. in the way you play. Yeah. You know, there's other musical genres, so it doesn't yeah. just always strike me as blues. No, That's why so, I asked yeah. you. Kind of country blues, I think. And then, uh, you know, just all those kind of heroes like Bonnie and, and Bonnie Raitt and uh, just, yeah, like Billie Holiday and Jackson Brown. Loved, he was a big influence of his music. And, and Willie N Nelson. And then, you, then you just keep writing. Tell you what, we're going to take a listen. You don't mind performing some music for us here on the show? Oh, thank you. Stick around. Singer songwriter Terry Garrison, next on Maui Live. Maui Live is underwritten by some of Maui's best businesses, like Casanova, with two incredible restaurants in Makawao and Kahului. Visit them online at CasanovaMaui.com. Maui Academy of Performing Arts and the Stepping Stone Playhouse. Visit them online at MauiAcademy.org. Mana'o Radio, 91.5 FM, and online at mana'oradio.com. Maui Coffee Roasters, fresh roasted Hawaiian coffee. Visit them online at MauiCoffeeRoasters.com. Michael McCartney's wardrobe for Maui Live is furnished by him, a men's store, featuring shirts, t-shirts, pants, shorts, and accessories. Located at 4310 Lower Hanoa Pi'ilani Road in Kahana. Visit online at himmaui.com. This is just so sweet and so hot. At least Marcus is hot. I think the room's hot. I think we're all hot, but it calls for a story. So there I was, Marcus. It was Thanksgiving. I was kind of nervous, sweating. I was with my new boyfriend at the time. You know what I mean, girl? You know, love of my life, man of my dreams. Mon amor, mi corazón, Prince Charming, or so I thought. So right there in front of everybody at the Thanksgiving table, right there in front of the cranberry sauce and the giblets and the gravy, right there in front of God and the apple pie, you know what he did? He called me by his old girlfriend's name. It was one of those cheerleader names where you knew she was pretty and blonde and who had two great big pom-poms. <laughs> I didn't say that. Anyway, so there I was, deeply chagrined, looking at his mama and his daddy and everybody. I went to my room and wrote this song about confused identity. Baby, 
baby's uncertain, my baby's untrue, my baby been calling me names like Sally Sue. For as special as I feel He was once my bread and butter Let me hear to him I can see the writing on the wall But that fool ain't never been a schoolgirl You know what I mean? It's not the same. Ah, baby. Oh, I just don't know what to do. Do it, do it, do it. Well, I feel just like a number. I got a no name. is underwritten by some of Maui's best businesses like Latitudes, Furnishings for Life. Visit them online at latitudeshawaii.com. Welcome back to Maui Live. I'm Michael McCartney with our guest singer-songwriter Terry Garrison. She's got two albums out and this is your new one called It's Just Paradise and people can check your music online. It's uh, online. on iTunes and on iTunes. Amazon, right? And you've got a website? Mm -hmm. Website, iTunes, Barnes & Noble and uh, yeah, in the back of my car. <laughs> 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 I wanted to ask you about this little thing. I actually got a chance to, to see this performance last year. It's called Playing for, for Change. Change. Yeah. And it was something that happened all around the country or all around the world All around the year? world. It was the first annual Playing for Change Day all around the globe. And they raised money for uh, schools for children and just bringing more music in schools. Um, it was started by this guy, Mark Johnson, who uh, edited the song, that Benny King song, Stand By right. Me. And it all just, over YouTube, millions uh, of yeah, views, it's amazing, like Check 80, it out. 80 million hits or something. And then it turned out, and I just kept following them, and like their bass player, Reggie McBride, was my bass player. We did, had a show for NBC, and we had a band in LA. And so I kind of know some of the guys, so they were like, we'll do the one in, in uh, Hawaii. So I did, and we're gonna do it again this year, and it's a good cause. It's about how music makes a difference. You That's know. going to be this fall on the island of Oahu, right? I think Oahu. Yeah, we're right now it's scheduled for Aloha Tower at, in uh, Waikiki, Honolulu. Yeah, so Sweet. it's going to be fun. Now, the music that you're performing on the program, most of it's original material. And uh, I was curious, for you as a singer-songwriter, is it tough for you to write a song? Or do you, you, know, do you struggle? Or does it just pour out, just like just, in 15 minutes? Boom, I spilled my heart. Yeah, it pours. It's just... And that's what I live for. I, li I mean, you just, I think a lot of songwriters, I mean, I'm sure you've heard this before, you, you just kind of wait for the moment where, you know, the song fairy will come along. <laughs> well, what's the weirdest moment that the song fairy showed up? I mean, oh. like you're standing in line at the bank. <laughs> that's a good question. It's all, okay, 
it's always kind of weird, but you know what my favorite weird is? Okay, quick story, yeah? Okay. That's what we're here so, for. So, all right, so I was, I was at the uh, Wailea Film Fest. Okay, wonderful film festival here in Maui, amazing, the, the job they do, the Rivers family. Stella and Barry, thank you. And so I'm there, you know, and, and uh, I get to talk to Angela Bassett, and it was one of those moments, and she was like, man, I love your blues. And I'm like, really? You know, and we're having this great talk, and then this real tall, very elegant woman comes up in this suit, and, and so I look up, and we're, they're talking about, she said, uh, you had the most amazing, to Angela Bassett, you had an Abby Singer moment. It was like the sun was just right, everything. The ultimate cinematographer. The, the, right? Ulti the ultimate, right. Abby Singer, the ultimate cinematographer. So I'm listening because I'm like the stupid musician. I'm not saying a word. And I finally, I said, who's Abby Singer? And they go, oh, he's the ultimate cinematographer. He's now the president emeritus of um, AFI, American Film Institute. And he was just a workaholic. He would get that right light just when the sun was setting and so then they could put it in the can. They used to call it the martini shot, and now they call it the Abby Singer moment, and because he just, he always got it. And I looked at the tall, elegant lady, who I found out later was Redford's PR for Sundance. Oh. Good thing I didn't know. And I was like, <laughs> I just wrote a song about him. And she like looks at me like, yeah. And I'm like, no, really, can I, can I send it to you? And she's like, okay, like, I don't know. And so she gives me her email. Two weeks later, she calls me, and she goes. And I, so I wrote it in like three minutes. I sent her the words, and two weeks later, she calls me. She goes, you know that song you, say, you sent me? Abby Singer was in Cedar sinai and when I gave it to him, um, he got out of the hospital faster. And then he called me two weeks later. He goes, Terry, do you know who I am? I'm Abby Singer. And, and I said, yeah, I wrote a song about you. I know who you are. <laughs> and so... So we became friends. So that one, it just kept having these stories. And I sent him, he, he gave all the, the song to like 100 relatives. And so, that's, Abby a, Singer. that's a wonderful story. I mean, that's yeah. what makes being a musician, an that's artist like yourself. Do it. Yeah, I, I mean, mean that's, that's why you do it. Those moments, you know, and then you have moments with kids in restaurants. This friend of mine, Manny, he got all his kids' friends around and we sang something good in the restaurant one day. And, you know, it's just, it was just for fun, but it was the best. So yeah, that's why I do it. So. Now, do you have uh, another album on the way? This yeah. is your current release, as I mentioned. It's yep. just Paradise, but. I'm working on another one. Yeah, got some new songs. You're very prolific. I mean, for our viewers, it's just like whenever you see her perform, it's like, she never sang that song before. I mean, you just keep coming up. Performance after performance with a new song. Thank you. I've got some new ones, yeah. I've got some new ones. And so you, it's always from the heart, as we mentioned earlier, but do you ever make anything up? Uh, oh, you mean from a, from a perspective of a song? Oh, sometimes, but it's all pretty much... From real life. And it's just a great catharsis. It's, uh, it's cheaper than counseling. It's <laughs> it's this seems to be a running theme on our show. Really? Really? <laughs> week after week. Yeah, it's cheaper than counseling. Yeah, music is the great catharsis. So it's, yeah, I just keep making songs. I'll tell you what, we're going to have you do another song. Is there anything you'd like to share with our audience before uh, we let you pick up the guitar? Yeah, check out my CD and check out Playing for Change. You can go online to playingforchange.org and uh, have one in your city. Have a Playing for Change. It's, it's a great cause. So. Singer-songwriter Terry Garrison, right now on Maui Live. Maui Live is underwritten by some of Maui's best businesses, like Casanova, with two incredible restaurants in Makawao and Kahului. Visit them online at casanovamaui.com. And now, once again, Terry Garrison. Here's a song off my new CD with Serpa Inui, and I'm really grateful to have Marcus Johnson playing with me. It's called When I Get to the Islands. When I get to the islands gonna be all right when I get to the islands I'm gonna dance all night when I get to the islands stars gonna shine all day when I get to the islands it'll be okay when I get to the Take a long walk 
and Manny, we're gonna talk. When I get to the islands, stars gonna shine all day. When I get to the islands, it'll be okay. No need to talk about it. No need to worry now. Just laugh and sing your troubles away. You're on Maui now. Time to have some fun. businesses like Casanova with two incredible restaurants in Makawao and Kahului. Visit them online at CasanovaMaui.com. Maui Academy of Performing Arts and the Stepping Stone Playhouse. Visit them online at MauiAcademy.org. Mana'o Radio, 91.5 FM and online at Mana'oradio.com. Maui Coffee Roasters, fresh roasted Hawaiian coffee. Visit them online at MauiCoffeeRoasters.com. Michael McCartney's wardrobe for Maui Live is furnished by him, a men's store featuring shirts, t-shirts, pants, shorts, and accessories. Located at 4310 Lower Hanoa Pi'ilani Road in Kahana. Visit online at himmaui.com. And now, here's Terry Garrison. This is a song from the CD. It's a song about Maui, about the cane fields, and uh, it's kind of something that we, it's an issue for us. We want clean air, we want uh, the aina be clean. Malama pono o ka aina, take care of the land, it'll take care of you. Here's cane fields.
Thank you for tuning in to Maui Live, Maui's TV and radio show featuring some of Maui's incredible talent. A big mahalo to Terry Garrison, and we'll see you next week. all the time we have for this week's Maui Live, Maui's TV and radio show spotlighting Maui's incredible talent. Maui Live is taped live for television and radio each and every week at the Stepping Stone Playhouse in the Queen Ka'ahumanu Center. Find out more at MauiLiveShow.com. Maui Live features lots of great music and interviews with celebrities and local businesses. And Maui Live is the home of the Maui Live show band, Old. Maui's old time rock and roll band. Maui Live is a production of Larry John Wright Hawaii and Silver Pixel Studios. See you next week for Maui Live.